Have you ever known anybody that had a miracle in their life? Doctors have already said, I don't think there's anything you can do except prepare for a funeral. And then they live. That's because somebody bigger got in the picture. I, I, I just hate to, you know, I hate to talk about me, but it's what I know. And I've already told you all these stories. Silly stories. Broke traveling around the country after Vietnam. I got no money in my pocket. I'm speaking on college campuses, trying to reconcile soldiers and college students, which was a waste of time. And preaching in churches from California to Mississippi. And I just got, they'll put a little money in my hand at a church and enough to pay my insurance on my car and put gas in it and get to the next one. I got no money. And I pull into uh, Wichita Falls and uh, smoke, steam pouring out of the hood of my car. And I pull into a gas station and raise the hood and there's steaming everywhere and water all over the ground. And a mechanic comes out in the station. Back in those days, gas stations had mechanics and you didn't even pump your own gas, weren't allowed to. I know that's 120 years ago, but that's the way it was. And the mechanic comes out and he says, ooh, water pump. I said, what? He said, water pump. How do you know? So that little hole down there in the side of the water pump, it's a blowout hole. What? 1970 Pontiac Grand Prix, big old, you know, got a long hood, the engine's way, you can lay in there. You could have dinner between the fan shroud and the front of the car. And uh, there's a water pump right there, and belts and everything open. He said, see that little hole there, that, that, that little blowout. You put water in, so you gonna come out that hole. You're gonna have to have a water pump put on. I said, I don't have any money. <laughs> You ain't going anywhere. I said, well, let me just think about it. Don't think about it. Ain't nothing to think about, son. I knew. He, my dad was a mechanic. I knew he was right. I went to a little, little Denny's or something right next door. I walked next door. I got enough money to get a sandwich. I get a sandwich. I'm sitting there looking out the window at my hood raised and steam still coming off of it. And, and I'm broke. I don't know. I'm dumb. I've been all across the country driving. We didn't have cell phones. We just drive. I know it's foreign. And I said, God, I don't have any money. If I could get that car home, my daddy could help me put that water pump on and all it would cost us would be the cost of the water pump, $25, $30. I don't sound like much, but we've got to remember back then, gasoline was maybe 23 cents a gallon because that's what we made in money. And uh, some churches might pay me $50 a week back then. And uh, so I'm just like, if I can just get home. And so I go back out after I eat that sandwich. Got about $5 left in my pocket. I put the water hose on my radiator because it's cooled down a little bit by then. The mechanic comes down and says, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to drive on down the road. <laughs> well... You're going to be getting a tow truck coming back. I said, I don't know. And all I can do is just, I don't have anything. And he told me I was an idiot and I put, I'm not kidding you when I tell you I put water in that car and I slammed the hood because I was a moron. And I hit the road at Wichita Falls. I drove all the way to Mesquite, Texas, east of Dallas, pulled into my parents' driveway. And when I pulled in and turned the motor off, it exploded and water went everywhere. I don't know what blocked that little hole. I'm smart enough to know that's no way that should have happened. All I know is the minute I got in that car, I prayed the same prayer I'd been praying in that Denny's. God, please get me home. I don't do this. I wouldn't tell any. Don't do this. You, you, you're not stupid enough for God to feel sorry for you like he did me. Just call your daddy and let him come fix it. I wasn't fixing to call my daddy and ask my poor broke daddy to drive all the way. And, and I pulled in the driveway and the water explodes and had to put a water pump on it in my daddy's driveway. And of course my daddy probably paid for it. So I don't care what anybody says about how big is God. I, I believe God's bigger than any. If God made this world the creation story. Do you really think God can't do anything for you? I mean, if he made this and he's got a plan for it, he can do anything.